the Himalaya. Many things to many people. Mount Everest to some, pilgrimage to others. The Yeti or the abominable snowman to many. Bhutan and Nepal to yet others. Few outside India associate the high peaks of the Himalaya with India. And yet, more Himalayan geography falls within India than outside it. From Kashmir to Arunachal, the entire sweep of the Himalayan mountains hold a fascinating range of floral and faunal types that change with altitude, aspect and latitude. The ibex and the blue sheep or bharal are the prime high altitude ungulates of the high Himalaya. But there is one Himalayan animal that has so confounded wildlife programming and television companies around the world for many decades now. Top-notch wildlife camera persons have been consistently tasked with going out and filming this animal in the wild, more so to try and obtain a sequence of it hunting and making a kill. All have so far returned empty-handed. While some camera trap footage has come in and lots of distant footage of the big cat on the prowl or even some high-speed chases across craggy cliff faces, no one has managed to film the animal in successful hunting action. The big natural history producers and factual television channels started from the 1970s and right through till the present time. Tens of millions of dollars were spent. Crews were in the field for years. The best cameras and lenses put to work, but no footage came in. All this changed in March 2018. Wilderness Films India, a factual production house based in Delhi, succeeded where all else had failed. We not only obtained the first ever sequence of a snow leopard successfully making a kill in the wild, but we also obtained the most spectacular hunt footage ever recorded in the history of wildlife filmmaking. Watch this video to see just what set apart our efforts from the rest of the global wildlife filmmaking pack. A two-year-old female snow leopard is on the prowl at around 14,000 feet altitude in the high mountains of Himachal Pradesh. She comes across a herd of ibex on a rocky mountain face interspersed with deep snowpack. After positioning herself higher than the ibex herd, she gets ready for the chase, even as they suspiciously eye her moves, preparing for their escape, but also sort of transfixed at the impending danger and unable to make a move. Once she starts her high-speed gallop, they take off and what follows is a treacherous chase across rocky boulders and snow on a relatively steep rocky face. The hunt peters out, however, and the ibex gain distance from the snow leopard as they are the dominant species on the rocky cliff face. She realizes it is hopeless and gives up. After catching her breath, she narrows down her interest on a pair of Himalayan blue sheep or bharal that are grazing on dried winter grasses atop a cliffy landscape after separating them from the herd. A calculated chase follows. She is lapping at the heels of the bharal male. She takes one leap and catches hold of the blue sheep. But soon, hard ground gives way beneath both of them. 
whether she has calculated the distance to the edge of the cliff. All this development takes her by surprise. They are both off the cliff's edge now and spiral downwards together. The paral is in the tight hold of the female ounce or snow leopard. And when the two do fall together, the snow leopard cleverly cushions her own fall over that of the blue sheep. And in that moment of extreme gravity-fueled impact, the bharal gets a chance to break away and escape. But the hungry and desperate snow leopardess has not gone through this extreme fall for nothing. She lunges forward and grabs the bharal back in the grasp of her paws and mouth. They fall together several hundred more feet, bumping and thumping their way down over the rocks, taking on huge impact and lacerations. The snow leopard twists and turns her body in the air, anticipating the rude fall at the end of the approximately 400 foot fall off the cliff. Finally, the flight and fall end and the triumphant snow leopard has a subdued paral within its grasp. She is injured and bruised, but nothing that a few days of rest will not take care of. She proceeds to enjoy the fruit of her labor and hides away in an adjacent cliff face for shelter. of the next few days, she uses natural ice packs to nurse her bruised haunches and leg muscles. She sits in the snowpack in the hot midday sun. She also nourishes herself with the fresh blue sheep meat. of the week she repairs herself completely and is back in action on a full belly. Not exactly another life in the day of a snow leopard but this young female snow leopard demonstrates to us the extreme conditions that occasionally challenge its very harsh life in the high mountains. Yet this fascinating animal continues its unique way of life in the High Himalaya, far from the prying gaze of human beings. The following season, in the winter of 2019, we return to her cliffy rock faces and found her faring well and back in hunting action. We distantly followed her to check on her condition and she has no lasting effect of that fall and is dexterous and adept as ever. Hopefully she will have cubs this year. The snow leopard has a wide habitat range indeed despite low numbers throughout. From Mongolia in the north to its southern range in the Himalaya, where it is found from the Chitral and Kashmir regions all the way into the eastern Himalaya in Arunachal Pradesh in India. The snow leopard leads a solitary life in harsh and unforgiving conditions.
it is the master of its habitat and the supreme predator of its altitudinal range. One in ten hunts or even less is a success and much energy is spent on each such attempt. Yet, a snow leopard must keep trying in order to feed itself and its cubs. Indeed, even the adept can falter, as with this snow leopard that literally fell off a cliff while walking across it. As one moves further west and north from Himachal to the high altitude Trans Himalaya Ladakh region, one finds communities involved in protecting the snow leopard, an elusive but strikingly beautiful species. This mysterious cat inhabits alpine and subalpine areas at an altitude of 3,000 to 4,500 meters. The snow leopard ideally preys upon burrell and ibex, which live in the same altitudinal range, but will also take a shot at a marmot or a pika or something similarly small. At the same time, it is not averse to bringing down a much larger and heavier yak, zoo or similar bovine, sometimes taking on the wrath of local villagers when it does so. But despite living close to human habitations, there is hardly any disturbance to snow leopards from local villagers and the snow leopard itself has never been known to attack or even threaten a human being. Resource crunch on the snow-clad mountains leads the leopard to hunt villagers' livestock, resulting in man-animal conflict. This rare big cat that lives in these high altitudes has risen in number thanks to the effort of the local villagers and the influx of high value off-peak tourism revenues in the difficult winter months. Thanks to better stewardship of the habitat, and an increased ungulate prey base. So long as the snow leopard remains, the mystery of wild places in the Himalaya will remain and the lure of the wild will be intact. Indeed, as Gerard Manley Hopkins wrote, what would the world be once bereft? Of wet and wildness, let them be left. Oh, let them be left, wildness and wet. Long live the weeds and the wilderness, yet.